Stephanie Marco, thank you for joining us on WGC. Um, we're going to do a set today, which is number 11 in our weight loss series. And this is a 16 part series. And what's so special about it is that each part can be used individually on its own, or you can continue with us through the whole practice or part of the practice, combining and mixing and matching as you go. And moving the body and creating this pranic flow is really a big part of kundalini energy. And a lot of kundalinis are accused of being quite thin and quite young forever. And I really do credit the practices of understanding how to use the breath and how to really tap into the energy in the body and to continuously allow this energy to flow in a beautiful way. It's, 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 um, really creates a lot of vitality. So I, I invite you to join us to try this practice and at the very least you'll have some improved energy and at the very best you'll really change your body and change your mind and um, when we can change our breath we can really change our minds and when we can change our minds we can change everything around us. So I really invite you and I'm excited to have you here uh, with us in this series. Uh, and if you like what you see, please subscribe uh, or put a thumbs up. Uh, you can also follow me personally at Stephanie Marco, that's Steph underscore Marco uh, for Instagram or at that tantralife.com. Please come sitting in a comfortable position. The sit bones are nicely grounded into the floor. The chest is open. Shoulders are up and back. Hands are in prayer pose. The chin is slightly tucked in and the eyes are focused at the third eye point and closed. And with every Kundalini Yoga session, before we begin, we tune in with Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo, which means I bow to the teacher within me. Take a nice deep inhale, filling the belly with air. Exhale bringing the belly button towards the spine and releasing the breath. And inhale to tune in. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo yourself, bring the awareness to your body, and exhale, let go and come deeper into relaxation. For exercise number 11, we're going to bring ourselves on our belly into locust. So you're going to lie on your stomach with your chin on the ground and you'll pay, place your hands and fists next to your thighs. And you want to raise the right leg as high as possible, keeping it perfectly straight and holding for a few seconds. And then we'll change legs. switch 
We're going to switch legs three times. So this is number two on our right side. Sorry, chin is still on the ground even though I've lifted my head to look at my notes. And switch legs. And switch. And you'll notice your legs go a little bit higher by the end, starts to open up this channel. And the final left leg up high. Then come into relaxing. And now we're going to use our fists to really ground ourselves into the floor. And we're going to lift both legs. And it's important if you have any lung or heart issues that you refrain or check with your doctor before doing this pose because it puts pressure in this area. So we want to be gentle and careful with our bodies. Um, but if you feel safe to do so, we're going to lift the legs as high as possible. Seven inches is, is ideal, but it, that's fine if you can only go a few inches. Keeping the chin on the ground. Using the fists. Exhale and release. And come into our position again. Fists on the ground. Chin on the ground. And lift the legs. And just really breathe. And relax. And it says to relax for about five minutes after this exercise. But for our purposes, we'll give it a nice minute. Completely let yourself go. Feeling your heart melting. And now we're going to come with our fists underneath our pelvis bones. So you're going to allow your fists to come just under the pelvic bones, under the body, in the same position. 
and they're going to add support to the lower back. And we're going to do some nice, long, deep breathing. And we're just going to very gently alternate legs as we were in the beginning, but at a bit of a faster pace. So you're just going to lift and release, lift and release. And the chin remains on the floor. And we don't forget to breathe. This is an area of the body that holds a lot of sexual tension. And so the chin is acting as a lock and is removing and moving energy from the heart through this area of the pelvis and releasing any blocks from the heart into the sexual organs. So we're opening up ourselves in a, a nice, new, and gentle way by creating this flow and literally locking and cutting off the mind from this flow between the heart and the pelvis and just allowing the healing to take place there. It's a really beautiful exercise. Really use your breath here. And we'll do two more times and relax. And you can let the hands go from underneath you. Turn the head to one side. And just let yourself let go. Really feel the power of your heart. And now for our final exercise, we'll bring the fists back under the pelvis. We'll bring the chin to the floor. And we'll raise the legs as high as we can. And just relax here. And breathe. Really squeeze. is really good for tightening the pelvic floor. Men and women both need to tighten their pelvic floor to really master moving sexual energy through the body. So this is a fantastic exercise to do for any sort of sexual issues or for just really strengthening the pelvic floor. The pelvic
pelvic floor really is what moves sexual energy into orgasmic energy that can flow through the body. So anything that's going to strengthen this area is going to be really vital for your sexual health. Just one more minute. Inhale, bring it a little higher, squeeze, and exhale, release, and completely relax. Just let go. And allowing yourself to feel really revitalized by this new energy that you've brought from your heart into your sexual organs. When you're ready, you can slowly bring yourself into a seated position gently. And if you'd like to repeat the series again, that's perfectly fine. Thank you for joining us and come with a nice satnam, bringing the hands to the heart center, thanking yourself for being here today, taking a nice deep inhale. So Truth be your identity, Satnam.